Good evening, folks. What's going on here? Earthmaster jumping in on the live stream once again here on Wednesday night, October 28th. 2020 is the date where the latest quake on the map here is a 3.3 earthquake striking up here in the uh, Pacific Northwest area. Uh, more specifically, right around the state of Idaho. Idaho has been fairly quiet over the last, uh, well, actually the last 24 hours or so. It's been relatively quiet. That is the only quake there on the map. As you can see, past 24 hours of earthquake activity, 2.5 and above there. The only quake, uh, pretty pretty uh, quiet up there. There's some microquakes there taking place on the all earthquakes map here from the USGS. So activity hasn't really calmed down completely. Uh, this is an interesting area, so pay attention to the um, this day in earthquake history uh, where the uh, we're pretty much uh, well what I'm saying is that uh, this activity has a lot to do with this day in earthquake history here at the end of the update video so 3.3 the largest quake in that little sequence of uh, maneuvers there a little um, operation of quakes there that mother nature wants to put on Southern California rocking and rolling once again out there not a whole lot of major movement going on but some sporadic activity around the Ridgecrest area also a little microquake going on there north of San Luis Obispo. Um, just right on the, what is this, oceanic fault system right there. Right on the p Pacific, <laughs> Pacific plate here. Of course the North American plate over here on the east side of the San Andreas fault system. Some activity taking place north of Atlanta. I mean uh, Napa I should say. Atlanta? Where am I getting all these weird names from? As well. Um, so yeah, taking a look at the broader view, you can see all the activity uh, that's um, happening out there. Take a look at Oklahoma. What's going on out there in Oklahoma besides ice storms? You guys are having fun, no doubt. Uh, some blank quakes there, and questionable quakes from the USGS. But definitely some twos, lower twos taking place out there near Stillwater. And also uh, near the Enid area. All this activity is north, northwest of Oklahoma City right there. Of course, fracking operations out there, a big deal. Uh, and of course, some weak crustal points out there. Could have to play, or could be in play out there with the uh, surface quakes that we're seeing. Here in the Pacific Northwest, some, uh, actually, if you look at the map there, there's more query blast on the map than there is earthquakes. I mean, what are these guys trying to do up there? Not a good thing. A Mount Rainier, a little bit of activity just west and to the northeast of there as well. Um, let's move down here to Northern Cal, Lassen area. Pretty quiet. We haven't seen any more earthqu earthquake activity take place there over the last 24 hours. I know it was a uh, pretty little handful of swarming going on, I guess, if you will, around Mount Lassen in Northern California today. Not so much. Alaska. Uh, popping off up there some newer activity taking place 5.5 earthquake where is it uh, 5.5 earthquake taking place out there north well west northwest of the area that we've been seeing some uh, aftershock activity following last week's or yeah maybe a couple weeks ago 6.5 6.6 uh, that struck out there or no, that was a uh, much bigger quake, right? Let me let me uh, double check. I'm getting all my uh, my quakes mixed up here. Uh, plus, I got my nephew here, so it's kind of kind of hard to uh, get an update in. But uh, trying to. There's that 7.6 I was referring to uh, there along the Aleutian Trench area. Uh, so yeah, activity uh, continuing out there. Over here, the all magnitudes here, real quick. I gotta make this super short here because my nephew is just—it's almost his bedtime. That's for sure. Um, what do we got out here? Some activity on the East Pacific Rise region, out there, a little just mid five pointer right there near Easter Island area. Also, some activity taking place in the South America area as well. Trimmer map here, real quick. Just a uh, little bit of activity there in southern or, or southern Washington, I should say. This is pretty uh, active compared to last night's activity. It was very, very quiet out there. 
uh, Yellowstone National Park. Uh, you can see the earthquake that took place there in the Idaho region showing up pretty strongly there on the Holmes Hill and also Purple Mountain Station. So this day in earthquake history, let's go ahead and cover that real quick. There's a pretty big earthquake out there in uh, Idaho of all regions. Not the, uh, let's go back here. What's the date today? 28th, we'll get it. 6.9 in Bora Peak, Idaho, 1983. Pretty much in the same general area, maybe just to the east of the area where we're seeing all this earthquake activity over the last few months there. So big quakes can definitely take place out there. This is the largest historical earthquake in Idaho with a couple fatalities and uh, millions of dollars in damage there. Uh, looks like vertical di displacement in the land up to 2.7 meters observed between uh, McKay and Chalice. Landslides and rock, fill, rock falls, of course, occurred with this earthquake. So, All right, folks, we're out of here. Please stay safe. Uh, like I say, I had to cut it short. Got my nephew here. He's kind of... He's a little crazy tonight, so we'll chat you guys a little bit later.